What up, y'all? How's it going? <sighs> Lunch. I have class in about two hours, uh, an hour and a half. Um, yeah. Uh, just gonna edit my vlog real quick and then do class stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, don't really have too much planned today, so I'll just like probably just debrief on how class went and stuff. And that's about it. Um, yeah. So, cool. Um, alright. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this vlog. We're caught up, so I'm glad. All right, let's keep it that way. Let's keep, let's make sure that I'm caught up on the vlogs. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Peace. Yo, what's Gucci, y'all? What's Gucci, Gucci, Gucci? Um, yeah, I uh, just finished up with class and class was really dope. Um, yeah, so today in the conservatory, what did we do? We um, started the first half class. So like every term, there's always like a musical improv session. So we did a musical improv session in the first half of class. Um, and basically what we did in that session was we, what did we do? Um, uh, we, we played on emotion. So we were working a lot on emotion. And basically it's like, we started a regular scene, right? Um, just like regular talking. And then during the turning point of the scene, we transitioned it into a song. Um, and then played onto that, uh, latched onto that emotion of the turning point. Um, and created our song from that motion. And that was really fun to play with. Um, Cause usually when we do musical improv, at least in the other terms, uh, how it was was more of like learning about song structure and learning just to be more comfortable with improving while singing and stuff um, or in song type of uh, situation. Um, and this was a cool one cause it, I felt like it was a little bit more interactive and turning into a scene. Um, it was the first one that really felt like more of like scene work with musical improv and it was a lot of fun honestly I, I had a phenomenal time I think it was really fun um, I enjoyed it um, the second half of class what we worked on was uh, we worked on two things the first thing was status uh, status and scenes and that was like uh, that's an in interesting concept because uh, I know it's like something that we've kind of talked about in our improv classes before of like there's always a leader and a follower or like something like that um, not always, but you know, occasionally there's a leader and a follower, right? Um, and that can be, that can switch throughout a scene and things like that. Um, but that's kind of like the status ish. And, uh, that's how I'd known it before, but I never thought about it as a status. Um, and we worked on status today and how that can change the dynamic of a scene. And so how our teacher described it was like a higher status and a lower status. Um, and at first it was a harder concept for me to grasp just because I was thinking in a more literal way of like high status, low status in terms of like society. Um, but what he was more aiming for to teach us, which I started getting towards the end was like higher status, lower status in a relationship, right? So it's like, there's usually someone who's a little bit more in control of a relationship in, in just in terms of general not like romantic relation just like in general of like a relationship you know a social relationship and there's someone uh, who is a little bit of a lower status in a social relationship someone who gives a little bit more but sometimes that position is interchangeable and that's like what makes things more realistic and uh those like interchangeable parts of the relationship um are what create the recognizable human behavior that we go through as people and in our interactions so that was a little bit of a uh, harder concept for me to grasp in the beginning, but it was a lot of fun to work into my dynamics and, you know, uh, and play that out. Like there's a scene at the end that I did and we weren't really working on status anymore, but I felt like I started off the scene as a lower status character going to my mom for support. And then at the turning point, it was more like my mom was spilling out her details of her life to me. And I was being more of like the support for her. And in that situation, I ended up switching to the higher status character. Um, and it was funny because it's like a child telling, you know, a child basically telling their mom to stop crying and like comforting her when it should have been the other way around. So um, it was, uh, it was, it was fun. Um, it was a fun, uh, fun thing to play around with. So 
Yeah. And then the second thing that we worked on in the second half of class was uh, re-improv- re-improvisation, which is kind of like what this is all leading up to in the conservatory. So we, it, we did scenes and we would re-improvise them with direction from our teacher. And he would basically tell us what was funny, what wasn't funny, and like what to focus on when we do the scene again um, and how we can amplify that. And it was really cool working with that because it's uh, that plays a little bit more towards your acting skills. And um, even though we're still improvising, it's like clearly you could see that there are things that make like if you can escalate certain things or amplify certain things in a scene, it will make it funnier because those are the recognizable behaviors we have as humans rather than like, you know, changing uh, like changing dynamics so much or like causing some sort of like unbelievable type of situation like you know trying to find that commonality and then directing that and re-improvising the situation to work on that commonality between like reality and the scene uh is what makes things funny so that was a that was like really cool um so i had a lot of fun doing that i thought that that was that was fun and watching the scenes were hilarious i like i did realize that like when they did the re-improvised scenes like they were funnier the second time around so um because those are the characteristics that i recognize as a person so yeah um so that was like a lot of fun uh and really starting to get into the mindset of creating sketches and creating scenes and yeah and working that angle so um it was dope and i talked with a couple people in class about like yeah well i talked to, yeah i talked with a couple people in class about like our scenes uh like privately in the in the messages and then with one of them talked about like doing one of the scenes as a sketch possibly um and now we're talking about possibly getting like some people from the class as a group together so yeah we'll see where it goes um but it sounds like a lot of fun i had a great time in class love it uh, apparently next week is our last day of class, so I'm a little sad. Um, but we do have our show in two weeks. So uh, the show is on August 24th, uh, and I'll I'll give out more details of the um, uh, the show. But I'll put like the date and time over here because I already got an email. So like here, this is the date and time of the show. All right, and yeah, uh, I'll give more details as they come out of like how you can register and things of that sort so that you guys can uh, come watch because I think it'll be a lot of fun. I've learned a lot um, and I'm so excited to keep moving with the conservatory because I really enjoy it. So, cool. All right, um, dope. All right, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some dinner and yeah, we'll see what happens after that. I was planning on rehearsing the piano. Um, I've already uploaded my vlog, so yeah. So I don't really have anything else to do today. So I might write or I might rehearse the piano. So we'll see. I'm not playing Warzone tonight though. Yeah, uh, cool. All right, awesome. Uh, talk to you guys later. Peace. What up, y'all? How's it going? Just finished eating dinner. Uh, eating some dessert right now. Um, but I'm just gonna call it a night here. Look at my dessert. Oh my gosh, I'm so fat. Ooh, yo, this is so good though. It's so like chewy. And like you see the little Kit Kat things. Mmm. Mmm. I go. Mm. My timer went off uh, to like shut off all my apps, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, today was a pretty uneventful day. I woke up really late. Um, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I like stayed in my bed for like four hours and couldn't sleep, and I ended up passing out at like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm not sleep early tonight. So I'm basically just gonna go up and try and sleep after I finish eating these brownies. Ah, damn it. Mm. Uh, Jamie's on the war zone. Uh, that's so hard. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Some of the homies uh, from class have responded to me already and have shown their interest to like do something as a group, uh, like some sketch comedy uh, on like YouTube and stuff. So yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, in my head, I'm trying to conceptualize how we're going to do it. So a lot of us are in different places, but yeah, I think it'll be a fun thing to try and do. So, yeah. Especially since, like, these people are, like, super, super fucking hilarious. Like, these people are really talented, so. I'm really, um, happy to be in the same 
places as some of these people. Like, in terms of like, same time, same class, like, just to come in contact with these people is like a blessing. So, yeah. Um, cool. So that's it, y'all. All right, I'm gonna try and get to sleep early. I'm already like kind of falling asleep, so cool. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys, and good night. Peace.